hello once again good afternoon or good morning whatever your time is i am so happy that you have again watched this video in our general mathematics class our topic today is about inverse functions don't worry this is just a very short topic and i know this may be the shortest topic that i will discuss in all my modules so for this week we will only focus on inverse functions and in the one-to-one -one function, it is located on your modules, so just follow through. Another term for one-to-one, -one, make sure that the exponent, exponent is an odd number, okay? A one-to-one, -one, the exponent is an odd number. If there is an even number to it, then it is not a one-to-one -one function. But before anything else, it is really nice to put ourselves in the presence of God for us to be guided by the Holy Spirit as we will study our, what is this, topic this week. Let us pray. Thank you, dear God, for this opportunity again to call upon your name and to ask your help and presence to be with us as we discuss inverse functions. Be with my students, help them to understand the lesson for this week. This I pray in Jesus' name, amen. I know you are so happy that most of you are exempted in our exams. So to those who are not exempted, I hope you have already turned over your exam papers to your respective advisors so that I can check that. For this coming exam, it is still the same. Make, make sure it is not really as one ha, ang kung kinsay makapas every week, every week sa ilang modules. For those who will do pick up, ang makapas within the two modules per pick up will be exempted. Di na pwede nga magsapaw-sapaw. Kinhanan po. Kasi makapas ka rong Friday. Friday ang deadline for online. Ka Friday, kung kasi makapas, ana, maura to akong i-consider for the next exemption. Ana na yun. So every week yun ang atong pasa. So I hope you will do follow schedule because my activity this week is very short and you can only understand that one correctly. Okay? So, for us, let us have this class, inverse function. Inverse function. Now, what is inverse function? Inverse, from the word inverse, balihon, bali. So, if we will do the inverse function, I will just write it here. For example, the f of x, the symbol of that, for an inverse if f is f negative 1 of x. This is the function of x. This is the, the inverse function of x. Okay? Na ay negative 1. Inverse ang bali niya. Mauna siya ang inverse ha. So, dali na ninyo makuha. Inverse. So, in this example, if you are going to do the inverse in the ordered pair, 1, 4, Ordered pair 1, 4, negative 6, 3, 3, negative 4, negative 9, and 4. How are you going to make the inverse for that? To do that, you are going to do f negative 1 equals. Get the inverse. So, you are just going to bali it. Invert. Invert. Balihon. That becomes 4, 1, 4, 1. This one is negative 3, negative 6. Just bali it inverse. Negative 4, 3. Ne uh, it is 4 and 9. So, this is just the inverse. Imurangi bali. If I will ask you for the domain, of course, the domain of the inverse functions are 4, negative 3, negative 4. And they are just the same, so you will not copy it anymore. And of course, the range is 1, negative 6, 3, and 9. So those are just the domain and range of the inverse function. Okay? So that is the answer already. Gibalira ni mo. Now, on the second one, it's the same. Find the inverse. Find the inverse. So you will get the inverse. That is negative 3, 0. What else? Negative 1 and 1. That is 1, 2. Bale. 
and then since they are both three, you just copy three, three. That is okay. Okay? Now, to get the domain of the inverse function, the domain of the inverse function, it is negative three, negative one, one, and three. And the range of the inverse, that is zero, one, two, three. I did not put it here happy when I stay, sorry. I just mentioned it. Just pause it and balikato. Kanang rewind, rewind. So this is the domain and range for the inverse function of these ordered pairs. Okay? Rooster method. So, mauna siya. That is how you do inverse if ordered pairs are given. What if it is a function? A function is given. As I've said, an inverse function is a one-to-one -one function. One-to-one. Kundi ganyan siya one-to-one, pwede na siya, pero dili na siya function. The inverse is not a function. Okay, wala na siya domain and range. Kung dili na siya function, not a function. Okay? Now, to get this inverse, look here, to get the inverse of this, you are going to change it to y, the f of x, change it to y equals 2x minus 4. The inverse, if you notice it, the value of x becomes y and the value of y becomes x. Just like the ordered pairs that we have written, the value of x becomes y. And the value of y becomes x. So this time, you are going to change the value of y to x and the value of x to y and solve for y. Solve for y. This is the original function. Now let us get the inverse of it. Change, as I've said, the value of x becomes y and the value of y becomes x. So it becomes x equals 2, change it to y, minus 4. After that one, solve for x. Solve for, I'm sorry, y. In y form. Solve for y in y form. So that becomes x. Pwede na ni mo i-transfer dito. I-transfer. x plus 4 equals 2y. X plus 4 equals 2Y. Divide it with 2 para Y na lang ang mabilin. Y, that is X plus 4 over 2. So, the inverse function of that, if you are going to write, the inverse function is X plus 4 over 2. That is the inverse function. Okay? Now, to get the domain and range, since 2 in this one, this is how you get the range already. Diba? To get the domain, all real numbers, but in here to get the range. Kung you are going to get the inverse of a rational exp expression and then get the range in terms of x. This one. There is both numbers for x and y. Again, to get the value of the inverse function, change x to y and y to x. So that becomes 3y plus 4x equals 12. Okay, 3y plus 4x equals 12. After that, Solve for y. Kinahanglan y na lang ang mabilin sa pikas. So it becomes 3y equals, pwede na nimo iuna o pwede iwahi. Negative, basta mo siya transfer after equal sign. 4x, same, plus 12. Divide with 3. So y equals, that is, negative 4x. Pwede over 3 plus 4. That is okay. Or, you can do y equals negative 4x plus 12. 
over 3. That is still okay. Get the inverse. You need to put this one at the bottom. Bahala parihara siya. You put it negative 4x plus 12 over 3. Did you get that? So, maumi siya ha, that is the inverse of the function. Very easy, right? Next, last. Show that f and g are inverse function by showing that f composed of g is equal to g composed of f. Let us do this one. I will give you an example for this. In your book, page 51, there is an example over here. I think I gave you numbers 1 to 15, right? 1 to 15. So, it is already here. Let us have another example for this if they are really inverses to each other. 2x plus 5 f of x and then equals g of x is equal to one half x minus five to note that they are really inverses to each other make sure that the answer after you do the composite function is x the other also the answer is x only con 2x 3x with it, but like 2x, 2x, 3x, 3x, it must be x. Okay, let us see f composed of g, g composed of f for the first, and then this one aside. Let us try f composed of g of x. Now, this time, magunata sa g, ha? Kay g ang duol sa x. It is g of x, copy. Copy, one half x minus five. And then substitute. If you want to simplify that, that is okay. Let us simplify. It is one half x. Usually, maugyo ni ang error sa inyong mga activity, the signs. Dagang magkamali because of the signs. You distribute it becomes a negative 5. 1 half times negative 5 it is negative 5 over 2. Okay? So, substitute this to f. f, that is 1 half x minus 5 over 2. Equals, substitute to parenthesis because this is x. Pulihan ni mutanan. That is the composite function. We are done with that. So it becomes 1 half x minus 5 over 2 parenthesis plus 5. Napa? Plus 5. So distribute again. 2 times 1 half. It is 2 over 2 x. So the answer is just x. I can say. 2 times negative 5, it's negative 10, divided by 2, it is still negative 5, plus 5, cancel, cancel, the answer is x. Okay? x. x na siya. Now, let us see kung x put ang answer din ni, then they are inverses to each other. Pero kung di ganin x, di na siya inverse. Let us try. It is f of g. Now let us do the inverse g of f times x. Ato da yung unahon si f. F ato unahon. So f x equals 2x plus 5. Now substitute this one to the whole value of g. So it is g. 2x plus 5 equals this one, 1 half parenthesis. The x is here. So substitute all. 2x plus 5 na apay minus 5. Minus 5. So cancel. Positive 5 
minus 5, it is 0. Ang nabilin, 1 half multiplied by 2x, cancel, the answer is x. If you notice it, they are both x. So you can conclude, therefore, the 3 dots is therefore, they are inverses. Okay? They are inverses. Or function f of x are, is the inverse of g of x. That is okay. Or they are inverses. Now, what I am concerned of, of your, of your what is that? Activities is the solution. It is like this. I prefer to have a correct solution with wrong answer than wrong solution and correct answer. I will mark the solution wrong. It is because na mapira mo anak. Nahibong ko. Why is it that your answer is correct but your solution is wrong? But then, if your solution is correct, you are on the right track, I think na alay na miss uh, addition or subtraction, baka ha, muna na sa imong answer. But if your solution is totally wrong, bahalag sakto imong answer, it is still wrong. Okay? I know there are many ways to solve a problem. But then I know how to look at it. Pag multiply, 2 times 6. Ana ba? Kay ba ko 12? But then, pag sakto lang ko, pag ako sa answer, pretty lang you are. So, it is not like that. I hope you will be uh, aware of those things. Okay? And this is the topic of the week. It is very easy. I know you can finish that one-on-one -on -one meeting. I will have a Zoom as well this week because it is normal class again. Let us pray. Thank you so much. Answer include answering the devotional because devotional is a three-point bonus. Three-point bonus together with the essay questions. Let us pray. Thank you, dear God, for being with us during our lesson today. May you be with my students. Guide them, help them to understand the inverse function. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Goodbye, everyone.